Coachella, a popular music festival, took the world by storm in 2012 when Tupac, one of the most influential hip-hop artists ever, performed for the first time in over two decades. Now this would have been really impressive, even if Tupac hadn't been dead for over 20 years. You may be asking, how is this possible? Well, Tupac performed not in his physical form, but as a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> this sent social media a buzz, and I started wondering whether we lived in the world of science fiction and in the future. Well, before you guys start shopping for flying cars, just know that this effect has been around since 1862. It first debuted in Charles Dickinson's play, The Haunted Man. This innovative new technology is actually an old stage trick known as Pepper's Ghost. It's named after scientist and inventor John Henry Pepper, who perfected and premiered the technology over 150 years ago. Impossible, you say? Well, let me explain how it works. Conceptually, it's all the same, whether it's a video or a live performance. An image is projected from the bottom of the stage to glass or mirrors, which will reflect the image onto a large, clear glass sheet. This glass is placed on the stage at either a 45 degree angle to the front or to the back. From this angle, the glass is almost invisible and the titular ghost takes shape. Now that you know about this technique, you can tell that it doesn't seem too complicated. In fact, because of how simple it is, many people have been able to replicate the effect by themselves at home. All you need is a piece of glass and a light source that projects an image. This will create a pretty cool effect but it's not actually a hologram. A hologram is slightly different based on what the definitions actually are. For instance, although it does bend traditional visual perspectives, in which the image changes slightly based on the viewing angle, Pepper's ghost exists on a two-dimensional plane. Now, before you get upset that we don't have holograms like we envisioned, just remember this. Science is constantly innovating and reinventing new technologies. And, if you set your mind to it, the next hologram could be named after you. Oh, looks like the signal's getting a little weak. Well, I guess I'll have to see you guys next time. <laughs>